Good day now, home. I'm your host, Willem Cloud, and welcome back to Beginner's Guide into Subnautica. Someone has asked me the best setup for Prone Suit and Cyclops. So this time I'm gonna talk about Prone Suit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Firstly, there isn't the best setups for it. It's just a setup you like, or you actually find it useful, or which is working. For me, my setup, which I finished the game, I had this setup only, and it always works 100%. One is a grappling arm and one is a drill arm. That's always. If you can make the iron power cells, make it. It will save your time and your bake. And upgrades, I have the maximum I can get MK2 pressure compensator, I have the thermal reactor and the jump jet upgrade. Why those? Obviously, to get to the active lava zone, you need to go really deep and you need the MK2. Thermal charging, so you don't run out of batteries once you're down there in the lava zone, where it's really hot, so the batteries will recharge themselves. And jump jet, so you can just jump higher, faster, and farther away. Basically, that's it. There isn't much more for the prone suit. The arms you have, you can choose yourself. If you like propulsion cannon and torpedo arms, you can go for that. But as you need to dig for some materials, the best is drill arm. The grappling arm can be something else, but drill arm, I am 100% you will need it. What else I can say? The, the rest is up to you. I would recommend the MK2, the jump jet and the maximum depth. The drill arm and that, that's all up to you, but for me, this is the best setup for me. If you like this video, of course, smash that like button, subscribe for more awesome videos, share the videos you like. I hope I'll see you next video. Bye!